Hey, what's up? It's Matt in Japan. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a few Transformers Rise of the Beast figures. These just got released April 15th, this past Saturday here in Japan, hence the Japanese writing here. So the first figure we'll take a look at is the Beast Alliance RC and Silver Fang. So there they are in the open packaging. Just to take a quick look there, it says Transformers Rise of the Beast in Japanese, Beast Alliance, Takarotome, Transformers down the side, there's Silver Fang, and you have the weapon and RC. And I really love the background of the packaging. You see a lot of different sort of hieroglyphic uh, images there, Waspinator and Scorponok and Optimus Primal, things like that. So very cool. And there is a sort of combined mode front and center. And it's BCAS2. And it just says basically RC uh, armor set. It says RC change armor set. RC and Silver Fang in Japanese. Um, on the side, you see a closer up image of RC with the Authentics logo there. On this side, you do see, again, the same image, Beast Combiner 2-pack in the different languages. On the bottom, you have your product information. And on the back is where we see our product images. So there's RC. And she converts in 13 steps to her bike mode. I actually think this is better looking than the uh, actual core class figure we got. Um, we'll see once we get her opened up and looked at. And there's the Beast Alliance Silver Fang in his wolf mode, I'm assuming, and in the combined mode again. So very, very cool. So anyways, that is the RC and Silver Fang set. So let's pause and we'll get into what else I got. Okay, so the second set I got is the Transformer Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance, Bumblebee, and Snarl Saber. This is a very cool set indeed. So again, very similar in packaging. We won't go into too much detail, but you see the combined mode there. Bumblebee and Snarl Saber. And again, it says, um, you know, change armor set to Bumblebee and Snarl Saber in Japanese. On the side, you get a picture of Bumblebee, Authentics logo. On the other side, a closer up image of Bumblebee, Beast Combiners 2-pack. Product image, uh, sorry, product information on the bottom and on the back, you see our product shots of Bumblebee. He converts in seven steps to his Camaro mode. And then you have Snarl Saber and his beast mode combined right there front and center. So very, very cool. Um, I will be picking up some probably more of these figures. Uh, supposedly the uh, Toys R Us here are, you know, supposed to have a huge display of these. Uh, again, um, I'll believe it when I see it. So anyways, uh, we'll pause one more time and I'll show you what else I got. And last but not least, I did get the uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance, uh, Weapon Cheetor. Cheetor. Uh, it says in Japanese, Weapon Cheetor. There he is, Transformers. Takara Tomi, you see a really cool image of Cheetor in his beast mode there. And there he is in the open packaging. Um, and yeah, that's about it. You see him in his beast mode, and his uh, weapon mode, sorry. And then on the side, you see his beast mode there, Beast Battle Masters. On the bottom, product info, and then on the back, ton there's just a huge sticker on the back here, and there's a tiny little product image, Cheetor converts in four steps to his very cool weapon mode. Um, so yeah, I didn't really pick up like the whole first wave or anything. Um, there's only a, about a limited amount of figures that are actually out right now. So these are the three figures that I did pick up. So I'll just kind of lump them all together and do some quick reviews. All right, so we'll start off with the weapon uh, Cheetor figure here first, and just want to show you guys um, this did come in the packaging. It is a little sort of uh, preview of what the, is in the series. Um, this is the uh, Smash Changer Optimus Primal, the Smash Changer Optimus Prime. And then it shows all the other figures, Bumblebee and Nightbird. And then it does show, again, Bumblebee and Cheetor and Air Razor. And then it has all the QR codes. I'm not sure what those are for, but if you want to scan those, feel free to go right ahead and do that. And then on the back, it does show, whoop, sorry, Cheetor. Um, it does show basically the whole first wave here. You get the um, Cheetor, you get the Rhinox and the Skull Cruncher. I can't wait to get that guy. I really want that guy. And then you got the Optimus Prime and the Rhinox and the Bumblebee there. And then down here, you got the whole lineup there of all the, I'm assuming all the first wave figures. And then you have the um, Optimus Primal with the, uh, what is it? The Arrow, Arrow Strife. That's what it's called, Arrow Strife? Optimus Primal, Arrow Strife. And then you have the Optimus Prime and Ch Chain Claw. Chain Claw, sorry, I'm trying to read the Japanese here. Um, and then you have the two figures that I picked up. And down at the bottom, yeah, just more sort of Rise of the Beast promotional stuff. So very cool, it's kind of a cool inclusion there. Sorry, Cheetor, I keep banging this guy up. So anyways, let's take a look at Cheetor's uh, details. A very, very cool head sculpt. You have some nice red paint for the eyes. A little bit of a uh, Cheetor um, spots on the top of the head and the side of the face there and it kind of goes through on the top of the arms here i don't know why they kind of stop there but you see a little bit on the back legs as well otherwise it's done it's done in the yellow plastic and the gray but there is some really nice molded detail on this gray part here very very cool and on the back here i really like these sort of almost like tendon like uh 
um, sculpting there. It's got a little bit of silver paint there. So very cool. It's some really nice detail in the back as well. And uh, actually all over the place. So very, very cool detail on the Cheetor uh, weapon figure here. Um, as far as articulation goes, um, his his uh, front paws are on a ball joint and um, they do look like he's wearing slippers. I think it's kind of funny. It's actually kind of cute. Not sure why they didn't uh, extend that to the back legs, but uh, only the front legs have that. And then um, really there's nothing at the head. Um, you know, these are on um, these are on ball joints as well. So you get some movement for the back feet. You get some movement for the front feet. And then, um, you know, obviously this comes up to make the uh, the sword or whatever. But yeah, not too much articulation in the beast mode, which is fine. You don't really need it so much. So anyways, yeah, let's get this guy transformed into his weapon mode. Okay, transform this Beast uh, Alliance weapon Cheetor into his weapon mode. All you want to do is first thing is you got to take this part. There's a little tab right here, a little post that you're just going to pull up like that. Make sure that's all the way up like that. And then this whole piece will just slide down like so, and it'll just stop in place. And then what you want to do is take the front legs and sort of move them back like so. And then you want to take these and just sort of straighten them out. And I do understand why they just did this on the front paws. I'll show you in a sec. Um, and then you want to take these and just move them forward like that. So these sort of cup, these sort of like, you know, um, you know, have that curve right there. And then these are sort of, you want to just, you can kind of fold them down or you can keep them straight however you want. But I understand why they did that now. Um, and then basically that is the weapon mode. So very, very easy, a very easy transformation. And yeah, the weapon mode is just, you know, <laughs> it's just the blade coming out of his, uh, his tail there. So. But very cool. I really like the double, you know, so the, the double edged sword here. And it is on a five millimeter post. So I'm just gonna move this box here out of the way. And we're gonna get, uh, who do I got handy here? Oops, I got crash bar. So I'm just gonna, you know, any standard five millimeter port, it can hold. And this is, it is kind of weird because, you know, it's supposed to be like a sword, but he kind of holds it like a gun. It would have been cool if there was a, another peg right here so you could do both. Um, I, I kind of wish it was, let me just take that. I kind of wish it was like this more, you know, like he's holding it like a sword. Um, it, it's more like a, uh, it's more like a gun in this, in this mode, trying to get this back in. But anyways, yeah, that's just kind of how it looks with a, uh, with a deluxe class figure. And let's just stand him up right like that. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Kind of a cool, cool weapon mode. Um, but, it, but again, I do wish there was at least like another peg right here that you could kind of you do either you could do the gun mode or like the sword mode so that is how it looks with another figure holding him so very cool uh we're gonna pause and get into the armor changer sets all right first let's take a look at the rc and silver fang set and before we get into their details let's take a quick look at the one accessory it does come with is silver fangs basically silver fangs tail but uh, a very cool sword indeed um you get some really nice silver paint here some nice molded detail obviously you see some fur here um but uh yeah really really cool sword uh and also um taking silver fang uh there are two little notched pieces right there and his tail does go in at an angle so you want to take these two little tabs on either side and it does just slot in at an angle and that does create his tail so you do have that sort of fur that uh, um, continues off the, the end of the tail there so very very cool so that does come off also you can have take that off and you can also have rc hold his sword as well so you just kind of plug that in like, like that and then rc can wield silver fang's sword so very cool a lot of fun playability with this set i can already tell so anyways that is the accessory let's just put his tail in there whoa um yeah just be careful because this guy this middle part comes unhinged there so um just putting his tail back in there and let's take a look at silver fang's uh details here so this is wow this is pretty impressive it's a really cool detail here you get some really nice silver paint on the top of the head there some really nice silver paint back here some really cool molded detail some mechanical molded detail and just like the way the fur is molded and everything Wow, I'm really impressed. You got some nice molded in teeth. You got a gun right inside of his mouth. You got all sorts of uh, stuff on the side. He's all armed up, ready to battle the Decepticons or the uh, Terracons rather. Um, but yeah, all over, just some really nice molded detail. Love the fur detail and uh, all over the place. So very, very cool. And even the legs have some really nice fur detail, some nice detail on the feet as well. So very, very cool. Um, now articulation, these are just on pins. So obviously they go forward and backwards but that is also because of transformation um and then the back feet can go back again because of transformation nothing really else at the tail because you saw how that pegged in and the um the unfortunately the mouth doesn't really open you can kind of force it open a little bit 
Um, it is just kind of a soft plastic, not soft plastic, but it, you know, you can, you can move it a little bit if you kind of squeeze it, but you don't want to break it as well. But anyways, yeah, Silver Fang, very, very cool. Really love the detail on this guy. So anyways, putting him down and getting into RC's details. And again, um, I really think this is way better than what we saw with the Deluxe class. Take a look at her head sculpt, really nice sort of almost sort of pinkish gold paint for the face. You get some blue eyes, really nice sculpted detail. You get some nice detail on the neck as well. Her head kind of sticks out a little bit. It kind of looks weird from, from certain angles, um, but not bad going around the the uh, figure you get some hollowness on the back you can see it's just on a ball joint i mean from the back it's pretty uh, unsightly but <clears throat> you know for this size uh figure it's uh, kind of to be expected but um so really nice paintwork on the uh, chest there get some white and some nice light blue for the headlights going down the abdomen you can some really nice sculpted detail for the abdomen there some nice sort of gum middle gray you do see that sort of pinkish uh silver paint again on the arms you get some nice white paint there some nice detail and i love these little sort of um I think they're the, I don't know if they're the mirrors for the bike mode, but a little, it just to, creates a really nice silhouette there. Going down the legs, again, you get some nice white paint, some black for the knees, and again, some really nice molded detail on the bottom of the feet, which eventually turn into the bike mode. We'll see more of that when we transform her. But yeah, that is pretty much RC's robot mode. So yeah, let's uh, transform these guys and see what their combined mode looks like. All right, so for RC and Silver Fang's combined mode, basically what you want to do is underneath uh, Silver Fang, you have two little posts there, and those are going to lock in the two slots or the two holes on either side of RC's shoulders there. So first you want to do is just take that and put those on like that. And then you got to take all the legs and fold them up like so. So the back legs fold into these little hollow parts and the front legs do the same. And then what you want to do is fold down the head of the beast there, just fold that down like that. And that will allow this part, uh, the front part to fold down like so. And that reveals the combined head. And that's sort of on an auto morph thing right there. If you can see that. And then that just folds up to form the chest piece. Very, very cool. Just love the way this looks. Um, and then what you want to do is this whole head of the beast of uh, silver frame comes off and there's a very long uh, port there. I mean, a long, long peg as I almost drop it. And this will peg on the front of her arm like so. And then you want to take his tail weapon, his sword, and plug it in like that. And there is the RC Silver Fang combined mode. Wow. Let's take a look at that head skull. Very, very cool. It's a very nice um, sort of mix of RC and Silver Fang. You get sort of the wolf head. You get the nice hair on there. You get the antenna. And then sort of this uh, almost looks like she's, you know, ready for the Arctic weather there. she got like a scarf on or something. Um, and very cool blue paint for the goggles and that really nice sort of rose colored silver paint again for the face. Some really nice sculpted detail there. And I just love the way this chest piece folds down and creates that chest. And then, you know, she got the, the uh, wolf head on her arm there for some uh, like a shield and then she holds the sword so cool man wow this is really cool uh, i didn't expect to like this so much but yeah so that is how it looks from the back but anyways yeah that is silver fang and rc's combined mode and she does stand up just fine and there is some posability but not a whole lot uh we'll get into that articulation with rc in just a sec but yeah that is how she looks just bring in crash bar again with the the uh, Cheetor weapon there. So just a quick comparison between the two. So yeah, let's get into RC's uh, vehicle mode. All right, so before we transform RC into a vehicle mode, let's take a quick look at articulation. Speaking of that, um, there is, you know, the head is on a ball joint, so it does go all the way around and does have some movement here, some up and down, and obviously um, a little bit of side to side. So some little bit of uh, expression there on the head. And then the, uh, again, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so they can go all the way around. There's nothing, these all, this is just all one piece. Um, there's no, absolutely no articulation at the arm, the elbow, or the hand. And then um, there's, there is a waist swivel, which is very uh, impressive, actually. Again, that's just on a ball joint, so that can go all the way around. And she does get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of backward movement there. Um, and then her legs can do, let's get her arms out of the way there. Um, her legs can do pretty much the full splits. And again, they are on ball joints, so they can, she can kick back quite far. She can kick forward quite high. And then um, she does have a knee bend, about a 90 degree at the knee. And there is really nothing at the thighs or anything like that. And nothing at the feet. Again, that's all just one molded piece. So not bad, not bad for uh, this little uh, figure here. So it's some decent articulation. Anyways, yeah, let's get this gal transformed, see what her bike mode looks like. 
All right, so here are the Rise of the Beast RC. I'll transform it into a motorcycle mode. And let's take a quick look at her details. Um, a very cool bike, uh, very cool looking motorcycle mode. I just love the how the kind of front tire jumps out like that. And she actually rolls really well. Um, there's no, you know, there's no like kickstand or anything, but yeah, she rolls really nicely. So, woo! Um, so anyways, yeah, take a look at the details. You pretty much see how everything kind of goes, but I really like the uh, front of the, the bike there. It almost looks like a face there, the two eyes and the mouth there. Um, but yeah, you can see how everything folds up. But anyways, I think a very cool bike mode and some really nice detail on the back axle there, some nice silver paint, some nice molded detail again all over the place. And uh, yeah, I really like the way this looks. Again, on the front too, some nice detail, like nice sculpted detail there. And that is how she looks. And again, um, I don't have my core class RC. I actually sold it because I thought it was a piece of junk. Um, but I think this does it a lot better. I mean, it's still sort of, you know, it's still kind of clunky and, you know, obviously you see robot kibble all over the place, but I don't know, as far as like a motorcycle mode, I think this just pulls it off way better. And I actually think the robot mode looks a lot better than the core class figure. So anyways, um, very, very cool. I like that a lot. And just a quick comparison between Silver Fang and his beast mode and RC in our motorcycle mode. So yeah, very cool set. A uh, lot of playability, tons of fun. Anyways, let's pause and get into the last set. All right, so the last set we'll look at is Bumblebee and Snarl Saber here. So let's take a quick look at Snarl Saber. And much like we saw with Silver Fang, um, it is very similar in the mold. Um, there's a few differences, uh, mainly the color done in all black. But you do get some really nice uh, kind of turquoise blue for the um, eyes, a little paint there. And some really nice sculpted detail. Again, you get some really nice silver paint on the top of the head and the back, which will later turn into the chest piece. So some very cool detail. And then just going around the figure, um, again, you see the fur and some nice textures going on, some very nice sculpted detail all over the place. And that is how he looks on both sides. So very, very cool. And again, um, the tail, whoa, <laughs> as Snarl Saber knocks down Bumblebee here. Um, hold on, come on, Bumblebee. All right, and uh, basically, yeah, so this just pl you know slots in like that and that can be used as a weapon. So taking a look at the sort of tail weapon here, again, some very nice detail, some nice silver paint on the end. And again, some very cool detail. You get a couple of spikes at the end there as well. And you can take this and have Bumblebee hold it in either hand like so. So you can wield Star Sabers, not Star Saber. <laughs> yeah, Star Saber, uh, Snarl Sabers um, weapon here. And it doesn't really, you kind of have to put it in like that. So he does hold it, but it, uh, you know, there's no like peg or anything. So, but he can wield the sword very easily. So very cool. So anyways, that is Snarl Saber. I'm getting these guys confused. So let's just slot back his tail there. And just doing a quick comparison between Snarl Saber and Silver Fang here. So you can definitely see like the, um, the similarities. Um, they both like transform the same and it looks to be the same. Let's see here. Are they the same? Trying to figure out if they're the same mold. No, there's some differences in the in the patterns, in the sculpting and things. So, but they do look very similar, um, and also the tails are very different. But the way they transform and all that is very, very similar. So, anyways, putting down Snarl Saber there, and let's take a look at as the phone rings. I am going to pause here. Sorry about that. Okay, so the phone has stopped ringing, and we're back with Bumblebee. So let's take a quick look at his details here. And yeah, I mean, for a little figure like this, um, he's actually got some pretty nice details. So let's take a look at the head sculpt. You get some of that gunmetal gray for the face. You get the blue eyes and not bad, you know, kind of typical Bumblebee fare here. You get a little bit of silver paint for the chest here, a little bit of blue for the headlights there and some actually very nice mechanical detailing on the abdomen there. Some nice uh, gunmetal gray as well. So yeah, as far as like the paint on this figure, it's not too bad. Um, the arms are all just molded in and um, you know, it's not a lot to be said there, but going down the legs again, you get some silver paint, a little nice detail, and you do see the car mode on the bottom. So yeah, all in all, not a bad little figure here. And that's how he looks from the back. Some nice sculpted detail on the back of the legs as well. Um, now articulation for this guy, you know, again, like we saw with RC, everything is ball jointed. So ball jointed shoulders, nothing at all at the arms. Um, and the head actually too is very static. It doesn't even move. At least with RC, we had the ball joint there. Um, nothing at the waist, obviously ball jointed hips. So he can go out like that and, and do kicks and things like that. Um, there is a knee bend um, basically for transformation. So it does go very deep like that. And then there is a little bit of toe movement again because of transformation, but his toes 
do wiggle waggle there. So uh, not not too bad, not too bad. Um, so bring in RC, uh, just a quick comparison here. Um, let's get Snarl Saber out of the way there. Um, so there's a quick comparison of RC and Bumblebee. Just for a quick comparison there. And they're about the same size. But yeah, I think um, RC probably wins the, wins the, uh, the the wins the race here with the amount of paint and detail on her figure and articulation so bumblebee is definitely not as articulated so anyways taking away rc so let's get uh first of all let's get snarl saber and uh bumblebee into their combined mode all right here's the transformation for bumblebee so very very simple um first thing you want to do is go on the back and just take the back piece and just hinge that down like that and then what you want to do is take the car piece, uh, the front of the car, the chest, and just pull that up like so. And then what you're going to do is come down to the legs. We'll just fold in the feet for now. Those go all the way back like that. And then these two will just clip together like that. And then in true um, Bumblebee fashion, you're just going to take the back half and you're going to fold that in until that kind of lines up like that. And then um, what else? That's about it. And then just kind of getting that lined up. And then, yeah, basically, you're just going to fold the arms in. You got these around little hinges here. So it's going to fold the arms in. And they will tab in place like that. And same with the other side. And they will tab in place. And just kind of give it the old transformer squeeze. And there is Bumblebee in his car mode. So very cool. Again, you get some really nice detail here. You get some black paint for the striping there. And that's his feet there. And you get some blue paint for the windshield, the windows in the back there. And actually you get some red painted taillights, which is very cool. So yeah, all in all, a very nice little uh, car mode. And he does roll quite well. Uh, both him and RC, so just doing a com quick comparison. Um, there is RC and Bumblebee. RC <laughs> is huge <laughs> compared to Bumblebee. I mean, this looks like a little matchbox car compared to you know what uh, RC is. But anyways, just a quick comparison there in vehicle mode all right so let's get into the combined mode for snarl saber and bumblebee and much like we saw with silver fang and rc it's pretty much the same deal um you have the two ports on either side of bumblebee's uh shoulders there and then you have the two pegs that clip in right there and first of i uh, think first of all i'll just take this the weapon off take the sword off the tail and then also i'll do this first too which i didn't do on the um rc one but i think it's easier just to fold his, all his feet up first and then you can just plug that in so again just lining those up plugging it in and then what you want to do is just take this chest piece and once you lift it up everything will sort of come down like that sort of automorph and then you want to just flip that piece up like that and that creates his chest piece and then you got to basically rip off his head um there is again one a very long peg that slots into the hole right there and the instructions do say to put it on this side um, whereas rc had it on his on her right whoa yeah, you gotta be careful with that um, that gimmick there. So that is supposed to plug in on his right side. It doesn't really stay in that well, but anyways, that is how it's supposed to be. And then again, yeah, the automorph sometimes comes off. So, and just making sure his feet are up like that. And then you can take his sword and plug it in his hand. Okay, so there is Bumblebee and Snarl Saber in its combined mode. So very, very cool. Just taking a look at some of the details here. Um, I Again, these these sort of combined heads are really cool. It really, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice mix of like Bumblebee and Beast. So very cool. You definitely see like how, you know, the Bumblebee helmet goes. But then like his little spikes are almost like ear-like. You get some, you know, all done in a really nice yellow paint. Some really nice blue goggles, light blue paint for the uh, the goggles and some nice silver paint for the mouthpiece there. But yeah, very, very cool. And also the chest piece is done very well. See some really nice details, some spikes and things like that done in a silver paint. And the rest is pretty much, um, you know, pretty much standard here. You saw how the head looks, but very, very cool. So yeah, I really like, um, really like these uh, figures. These are really fun, actually. Um, so anyways, just doing a quick comparison between Bumblebee and Snarl Saber. This, okay, I... There's definitely some issues with like them standing up because they're so kind of heavy. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Yeah, he's gonna fall down, of course. 
Um, yeah, so just be careful. You guys do pick up these toys. Um, they are kind of top heavy, so they're a little bit difficult to stand. I think I got it. Okay, and then bringing in RC and Silver Fang. So just doing a quick comparison here between the two. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. I, I'm kind of leaning towards RC. I kind of like the RC one a little bit better. Um, but I do like the black and yellow deco on Bumblebee as well. So very, very cool. Yeah, some very fun figures here. So anyways, gonna pause and get into some final thoughts here. Okay, so some final thoughts for these uh, Rise of the Beast toys. Very fun, tons of playability. I really like the combined modes. Um, you know, you get the tail weapons as swords. Uh, you get the robot modes, you get the vehicle modes. So yeah, there's tons of stuff you can do. I actually plugged in the Cheetor weapon on Bubble B. He had an extra port there on his arm just to sort of uh, decide to plug him in on there. And uh, yeah, so these are the both figures, all three figures. Uh, that I picked up and I'm definitely going to be picking up some more. I think I'm going to hit Toys R Us tomorrow and see if they actually have a display there. Um, I'll be uh, definitely taking some video of that and showing you guys if they do. But anyways, yeah, all in all, a very fun uh, pack here with the uh, RC and Silver Fang and Bumblebee and Snarl Saber, plus the little weapon mode for Cheetor. Very, very cool. So yeah, this has been uh, Matt in Japan. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Take care.